All right, let's let's talk about our bills, Steve. You've been following a few stories <laughs> about Illinois utility companies, NICOR Gas, People's Gas, ComEd. They're all seeking uh, rate hikes. So what's going on? Well, what's going on uh, is that a lot of the laws that sort of allowed these rates to reset uh, every year are expiring, and they're not going to be extended. So uh, the utilities are going back to the old system of filing with the regulators, for uh, for their for their rate hikes and they're all doing it at the same time because these laws are all expiring at the same time. Uh, it, it is unprecedented, I think. I just ran into the chair chairman of the uh, Illinois Commerce Commission the other night, and uh, yeah, she was sort of bemo- bemoaning the workload. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the I don't I certainly I've been doing this a long time. I don't recall every single utility of size. Uh, coming in at the same time. And, and there's there's going to be a real question of whether the, the regulators even have the resources to go through all because these, these are these are detailed lit- litigation like proceedings that require staff. I don't think they've got the staff I mean, to do they, it right, the, the right way anyway. The Illinois Commerce Commission, have they ever denied ComEd or Anything? any utility <laughs> that wanted the rate? I, I can't remember them ever saying, no, you haven't made your case. We're not going to allow you to raise these rates. Well, it's, yeah, you're, if you go in, you're going to get something, right? So, right. yeah, it's, and, and a lot of it is, is set in law and um, precedent. Um, so, you know, if they're going to deny that, they, ha- they have to basically decide that all, everything you're spending, all these investments you're making are not needed mm. or, and they're the lex- their lexicon imprudent. But it, it, f- from a consumer point of view, let's let's get out of the regulatory weeds. From a consumer point of point of view, this is this is brutal. I mean, we've uh, we've already had uh, our our utility bills soaring mm-hmm. and because of commodity price changes. Now, thankfully, some of those commodity prices have eased, but they could well mm-hmm. soar again. The utilities, in the meantime, are at, at, on an unprecedented capital spending binge, infrastructure spending binge. It's been going on for years, and that they just want to keep going on. That's how they make more money. It's how they increase their shareholder dividends every year. And um, something's got to give. So I'm curious, what else are you going to watch for in that story? Uh, well, I'm going to watch for what what kind of pushback the, the Commerce Commission uh, provides the, the regulators are finally being allowed to do their jobs. What are they going to do? Uh, also, in the in the legislature, I think there will mm. be some reaction uh, in Springfield um, on uh, certainly on the gas side. Uh, you know these gas bills. I mean, there's there's a big overarching question with natural gas, which is will we even be using natural gas to heat our homes? 20 or 30 years from now. Which, which which is nuts given the fact that they've spent like you said billions and billions and billions of dollars replacing all the all the gas lines. Yeah, they're the building a brand new gas system that would last for say 50 years when po- public policy is we don't want gas in 50 years. So then you're going to have what is called in the business a stranded asset meaning it's got to be paid off. Someone's got to pay it off, mm-hmm. but no one's going to use it. <laughs> it, it. So it it is uh these larger questions are what need to be answered. There needs to be more of a strategy of uh, how how do we want fuel and energy to look like yeah. 20, 30, 25 years ago and then respond to that. It's, it's also amazing that ComEd, as we mentioned, pays $200 million admitting to this bribery scandal. And it, they're going to make so much more if these rate uh, plans go through that it's just like it it doesn't the matter. The optics are bad on the that, optics aren't are they? Bad. <laughs> yeah, we, we got a trial. We got a trial we, starting in March. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. right, with the former ComEd uh, CEO. But, you know, the other thing is what's going on with the city's franchise agreement? ComEd has a franchise agreement exclusively to be the power provider to everybody in the city. It's been up. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like there's any other viable company that could come in um, and do it because it's all ComEd's infrastructure. So what's going on with that? Uh, that's taking forever. I mean, both, both sides say they're you know making progress. It's a, 
Is is Lori Lightfoot going to be the mayor yeah. in in May? I mean that that's the other question here is yeah. on on the franchise. Someone agreement. should ask the candidates Some other things this. to figure out. Yeah. Someone should ask the candidates about this. Oh wait a second, I think there's another forum coming up yes, on WTTW. And that's and- <laughs> very sly. And also on WBEZ, on February seventh, eighth, ninth. There you go. Cranes has got one coming up. <laughs> wow. Too. Okay. Carrie, no. How about you? Uh, Citycast. We, we no. don't have one yet okay. scheduled yet, but we yeah not yet. But our listeners only care about ours, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So.